Hello and welcome to the first development log for my indie game project called Blink. This is also my first video on this channel, so I will start out with an introduction. My name is Ben. I'm 26 years old and I work as a software developer full time. I've dabbled around with game development as a hobby for a couple of years now, though I never took it too seriously and never finished or released a project. In the past few months, I've started to get a bit more motivated. I've been learning and practicing pixel art and I've been playing music more often as well. I'm trying to work on all the skills I need to finally finish and release a game that I'm proud of and hopefully continue making games afterwards. I'm making this video series for a couple of reasons, the most important of which is to try and inspire others to create their own games. With a full-time job, I don't have too much time to devote to game development, but seeing the progress of other passionate developers helps me stay motivated. It also serves to help me keep myself accountable for this project and to get people excited about whatever I'm working on. So with all that out of the way, I'll go ahead and introduce the project. What you're looking at is the beginnings of a mobile game that I'm calling Blink. It's going to be a small game, the kind that really only requires one finger to play and can be enjoyed in short sessions. I've chosen Unity as my game development engine for this project for a number of reasons, which I'm sure I'll get into in a later video. The most important one for right now is that I think the features already available to me through Unity will allow me to really focus on the gameplay of Blink and actually finish and release this project. I was also considering game development frameworks such as Monogame, but I think trying to develop my own engine and my own game at the same time would be too great a task, especially for my first project. So what does the gameplay look like? You play Blink as one of many fireflies in a forest at dusk and your goal is to keep the forest lit up by blinking your light at particular locations on the screen. The more accurate your blinks, the longer the forest stays alive with the bioluminescent light of you and the other fireflies in the meadow. You can see all the progress I've made so far right in front of you. I've taken quite a bit of time to develop these art assets, and I've implemented basic functionality for dragging the firefly around the screen and changing the size of his light based on how close he is to the target circle. I spent some time today tweaking the behavior of the firefly's movement which will hopefully allow for different styles of gameplay. By slowly and carefully dragging the firefly to the target, you'll have a high accuracy, but you'll be wasting precious time as the forest grows darker. On the other hand, you can fling him around the scene for faster gameplay, but at a heightened risk of poor accuracy. In the upcoming week, I'll be working on a number of core features, the most important of which is finishing the main gameplay loop and seeing if this is actually a fun concept. After that prototyping stage comes scoring, UI, music, and visual enhancements to make the game nice to look at. So that'll just about do it for this introductory development log. Look out for more videos like this in the future, as well as more behind the scenes style videos where I hope to show more about my workflow and how I incorporate game development into my lifestyle alongside my full-time job and other hobbies. Thanks for watching. If you have feedback about this video or thoughts about where you'd like to see this series go, or even just want to talk about game development, love to hear from you in the comments. See you in the next one.